What's your name? What do you do? And why do you do it? Yo, what's going on, people? My name is George the J. I'm a singer, songwriter from South East London. And I do it because I love music. Ah. Was that the trick question? No, but everyone give me the same BS answer. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right, let, me be, let me be real. Go on. The real answer is, yeah. Yeah. Like, I work a nine to five job, innit? Yeah. And I'm just like, bro. Lord. I'm like, bro, like, I actually got talent. Mm hmm. Let me make my talent work for me mm -hmm. so I can actually use my talent and make a job out of it instead of doing something that I don't want to do. So real answer. Awesome. What do you do if you're 9 to 5? I work in IT for Is it? a company, yeah. Oh, ah, so you're a nerd? Uh, I'm not a nerd. No, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I just know the system, innit? It's one, it's, it? one of, it's one of them IT jobs. What did you study at school? Do you... I studied uh, property management and surveying. So how did you get into IT? <sighs> Bro. To, to be real, yeah. I was, um, I done uni mm -hmm. and then I was just, you know, just doing laddish stuff I shouldn't laddish be stuff. doing. Yep. And then my mum was just on my back, like, yo, you need to get a job. Mm -hmm. And I used to work at, I used to work in the O2. So doing I was what? working in the O2. In the a, a, nah, what? like in the, in the box suites. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I used to work in the box suites and then I came across one company in there. Yeah. And they were like, I was like, what do you lot do? And they were like, oh, yeah, we, we work in property. Da, 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 da. So I just yeah. applied for them. And then, yeah, I've been working for them for, for a minute still. Okay, all right. And you're enjoying it? Also, it's, it's for a property company, but you work a, in IT. Yeah, well, what? yeah, it's like a, it's like a technical you? role, you get me. What's the name of the company? Like, no, just, them <laughs> ones. I have people outside my workplace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, do you let people at work know that you're actually involved in music and you sing and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know it's a big part of my, my life. And they know that's like, obviously, what I want to do. And, okay. Yeah, moving forward. So you're comfortable like telling people like like I I find it really weird like, like people where I work I don't tell them nothing oh, I've never real? have yeah, never you know what my the way my job is that like, it's like we're we're a big family so yeah everybody's kind of on the same wavelength okay and um it's quite yeah it's a youth, youthful kind of spirit so yeah everyone's everyone's cool man and a lot of people do things outside of work as well like yeah, creatively course, yeah. so yeah it's kind of yeah people kind of share but I used to be one of them people that I like I never really used to talk about my music and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But it comes to a point where you have to just say, yo, like you, people need to know. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, I think that's where I'm at right now. So do they ever come down to your shows and support and like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever yeah. put anything up on the notice board to say, oh yeah, this is my, my, Listen, my next show? What, my manager, yeah, she yeah. always, she comes to every show. Serious? Yeah, for Ain't real. Ain't it awkward? Not at all. Not at all. Mad. Okay. She, she, she's not awkward, so I'm not awkward. So you're up on the stage, you just come from your desk, like hitting your keyboard... You packed up everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've taken off your shirt and tie. You've now got your trackie on. You're on stage. You look down. You see your manager, who just gave yeah. you. Do you just done your performance review the other day? And now she's looking up at you on stage. Listen, if, if you support my music, then I, I support the friendship. You get me? Yeah, no, it's good. That's good. It's good. I couldn't do it. You couldn't. Why not? Nah. I don't know. I'm a private person, and I'm like you're secretive, innit? Yeah, yeah but I don't, I don't mean to be. I just don't track my business, like, yeah. and, and even to the point where. It's not even a secret. Like, if people know, like, this stuff that I do now, like, I'm ready. Like, if people know, people yeah. know. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. But, like, people go to come up to me at work, even today, and said, oh, what's your social media? I said, what are you talking about? Oh, for real? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> social media, what do you mean? Let me sit at my desk and just do my work, and I go home. Social media. I, I hear that. What do you do? I work in property management, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. What so, company? But not, but what company? Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 you know, your brain can't work fast enough to lie. I hear that still. <laughs> But yeah, no, that's what I sort of do. So it's not even property management, but it's a, a, a form of property management. Okay, I'm I feel not you. Go into it. But anyway, more about you. Cool. Um, who is Jaws the J? Where does he come from? How did he get started? Um, Jaws the J, uh, he got started. Why the name? You know what? I always get asked this. Mm. It's just, a, it's just a, a, an amalgamation of Jaws and J. So a lot of people call me J. Mm -hmm. A lot of people call me Jaws. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, how can I fuse the two? You'll just put a, a the in the middle. Okay. And then, yeah, we had Jules of J. Jules of J was born. But I used to go, I, I used to have another name. Called? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be called J-Flow. Okay. And then school times, people used to call me Sharps. Some of the men them still call me Sharps. That's Sharp, the maddest thing. Still, were you still singing then or were you rapping then? I was rapping. I was doing okay. gram. Okay. That's how I started doing gram. Okay. Um, and then I transitioned into kind of rapping, singing. 
It always makes me laugh when I hear about people who've done grime and transitioning into singing. Like, it just sounds like a mad Bro, thing. Bro, it's mad because, you know what it was? I could always sing. Yeah. But I never really tried to hone in on it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man, it was just, it wasn't popping to be singing then. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, when Chris Brown started doing his thing. Oh, okay. Then it it changed. What do you mean it wasn't popping to be singing? It was, it just wasn't in school. It wasn't popping in it. What are you talking about? Nah, it wasn't popping, bro. Remember, do you know what? I'll be real with you. I went to all boys school, innit? Uh, so I didn't have yeah, I didn't like, have gal uh, around yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have yeah, okay. I didn't have right. galley on me. That's right. That to, explains everything. To, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Be, you can't be in an old boys school with busting the vocals. Nah, 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 nah. nah. I weren't trying to hear that. I was trying to, they were trying to hear 16 bars, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just trying to drop 16 bars. Nah, it's not about going to all boys school. I couldn't do that. <sighs> I've heard still, but you know, <laughs> you're more focused though. Do you reckon? Yeah, man, you're more focused because all you care about is all you care about is ball, kicking ball. And, and knocking out next man's teeth. That's nah, all I hear about. All the what? boys' schools I know about are just bare scuffs. Listen, you have to you have to know how to man up some, <laughs> somehow, innit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you what school you went to because that's just going into your business. Yeah, it's a bit wild. But, um, <laughs> but okay, so you left school as a grime MC. So when you, like, year, what's it, year 11? Yeah, year yeah 11, so year 11, grime. I left, um, I was doing grime probably mm-hmm. until like year 10, okay. 11-ish. And then I went to college mm-hmm. and then I started, um, I stopped doing music. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I started uh, boxing. So I was boxing for about about four years. I want to ask you this: Where were you boxing? Uh, what do you mean, where? What, what gym? Oh, Frank Bruno Boxing Academy in uh, Alpington. Okay, never heard of it. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, because I used to box. And I boxed like all over South London. Oh, for real? Yeah. So like, so you never heard of you Frank had Bruno. It, Frank Bruno Boxing Academy? Never heard of it. So basically, it's a boxing it's a boxing academy that started within yeah. a school. Yeah. Okay. So the the how I got into boxing was through uh, something called Boxing for Schools. So a guy called Wayne Llewellyn, don't know if you heard of him. Yeah. You might have done, yeah, the Wayne Llewellyn. Bell, he's, I don't know why. Yeah, okay. he's, he's, he's been about. Um, he started the company. Okay. And that's how I got into boxing from school. Then I transitioned from college and went from there. Did you get into it through school because you're a bit of a naughty kid? I wasn't a naughty kid. You know? I was one of them kids that if I'd done something, I never got caught. Okay. I was that type of kid. All oh, right, fair enough. Okay. So you boxed for four years? Yeah, so I boxed for about four years yeah. until I was about nineteen, twenty, mm-hmm. and, and then. Do you know what? My heart just wasn't in it. To be fair with you, I hear that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. a it's it's a different type of commitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and hear that. yeah, there's it's you can't take breaks if you want to be serious. Do you know why? I took, I'll tell you why I stopped. It's, like, it's not even funny, but I'll tell you why I stopped. Because I used to be sparring all the time, and then obviously, like, but I remember I used to punch someone. Like, if I was jabbing someone in the head, I'd always aim for the head guard. Oh yeah. And I remember I jabbed him right in his nose. The bus opened his nose, and I was like, "Oh, sorry." Like, <laughs> you say in the ring, just in, in oh, the ring, sorry. I stopped. I was like, "Oh, sorry, you're right." Like, like, and I thought at that moment, I thought, "Bro, you're not cut out for this. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> you're not yeah, cut. Yeah. Out. You ain't got a heart. Yeah. I don't have a mean enough heart, so I had to cut. It, I had to cut it out. But I still try and do it a little bit. But. Yeah, it's good to spar. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I got a boy that boxes, and he does his thing. So mm. sometimes I might mm, cool. spar with him and stuff. You get That's me? good. Any other sports that you're doing? Um, I used to play football, but yeah, I don't really play that anymore. No what team are you supporting? Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal, you done already. You got Arsenal face. Come give me the nudge, man. No, bro. Give me the nudge. I'm give me the nudge. Oh, for real? Yeah, I've got to jump over in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your local team and all that. Yeah. Local team. But you're South, okay. why are you, so you're South Londoner supporting Arsenal? To be real. And don't, it's, talk it's, about, don't talk about Ian Wright and don't no. talk about Woolwich Arsenal. It's my dad. Oh, okay. My dad yeah. supported Arsenal, so it just literally rubbed off on me. Okay. So all it's right. one of those ones. Cool. All right. So, you're, so you left school, you went to college. What did you study at college? I studied A levels. I've done uh, English, media. Mm-hmm. Law and sociology. Jeez. I feel like everyone done sociology though. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. One of them ones. Not me. What did, what did you study? That B Tech joint. No. <laughs> <laughs> no ratings. What did I do? Now I done a GMVQ, which ain't much be- better, but um, a little bit better. What's it? I done a GMVQ in sports, leisure, and tourism. Okay. So I done all that. I didn't get the grades to get in, but I got a gift of the gab, so I just talked my way into that course. I hear you. I didn't pass to get into uni. Mm. But I talked more into uni, and I thought this is long. I just went home. You just thought this is talk is my thing. No, no, but <laughs> uni was long, man. I didn't do it. Did you do uni? Yeah, yeah I done uni. Did still. you do it to the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangster. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not about that life. Uni mm. was ultra long. It is ultra long, but we did that. So were you singing in uni? Nah, so I wasn't singing. So I was in a group called Jam Time actually. Okay. Yeah, so I was, I was with Jam Time at that point after I stopped boxing. Yeah. Started doing a thing with Jam Time. We was together. Yeah. This guy over here was actually in a group. Um, who's, my this, thing. who's this guy over here? This, this guy is now my manager, but. Who is he? he? His name is Soka King, you get me? Jeez. And that's that. It holds weight, it holds weight in the Soka scene. And I was Hold like, on. <laughs> I drop a bomb. <laughs> 
So yeah, man, we was yeah. uh, we was flexing and uh, doing yeah. our thing. Yeah. And um and then yeah, the group kind of disbanded mm-hmm. when I was about twenty twenty two twenty three. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Um, Dramas. You know what? That politics. Pe- people. Nah, not at all. We're still actually really good friends. Still. Okay. Um, but yeah, just people become family men. People mm-hmm. just branch off and want to follow careers. That goes, yeah. And I just thought, yeah, so I just stayed on music. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to get this track on. Yeah. So while you've been talking, I've been fiddling. Um, we're going to get a live performance out of you as well. All right. But that. we've got a track called Netflix and Chill. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get on. So you, you got me working. I've got it here, ready to play right now. So do you want to talk about this track? What it's about? What, influ- um, what inspired it? Cool. So the track's called Netflix and Chill, as you know already. Um, it's inspired <laughs> by... <laughs> I always tell this story. I was chilling in my room, basically, mm. listening to beats. And yeah, it just came to me. I was in my home, home little studio where I started out in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the, the song just, I put the beat on and the song just came to me, where Melody. Where did the beat from? I got the beat from YouTube, I'll be real. Okay. I get a lot of beats from, yo, YouTube jumping, do. you know. Yeah, a lot of people do. Yo, I'm telling you. It's not uncommon. People people think, oh no, I don't really want to say that because it sounds nuts, but everyone. No, 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 no. Majority of people get the beats from YouTube. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good, good beats on YouTube still. Yeah, man. Still right, let's get this on right now. George and Jay here in the building. This one's called Netflix and Chill. We'll be back on the other side. Pick a favorite DVD or just Netflix and chill. We can Netflix and chill. All right, okay. So, George the J here in the building. Um, we spoke about your your school and college life to a degree. Yeah. So then you left uni. Yeah. So you, so at uni, were you still involved in the music? Yeah, so that's when I was doing, obviously, doing uni and yeah. I was in jam time as well. I was in a group. So, yeah, yeah we was okay. just doing our thing. That's right, yeah. Okay, so then after uni, you still pursued your career as a musician? Yeah, so after uni, I was just, what I'd done was I, I just bought studio equipment. Okay. Because I thought, you know what? I'm fed up of going to studio uh-huh. and I want to just learn myself. Yeah. So I bought studio equipment and then I just started to engineer, to be fair. Okay. And just started to learn and obviously understand how it works in terms of recording and making yourself self sound a certain way, so... How were yeah. you learning? Was, was it YouTube tool? Or you just yeah, looking? YouTube. Everything YouTube, okay. bro. Honestly. All right, cool. So at the moment, so that right now, if you wanted to make your own beat, mm. could do it? Yeah, I could make a beat. Not I a good make one, a beat. I could make a decent beat. I could make a sick you know beat to rap on. You know, you know when you said, yeah, I can make a beat. You didn't say your chest. <laughs> it went up, in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, can make, I can make a beat still. Yeah? I can make a beat. Okay, all right. Have you got any um, projects coming out, like an album or mixtape or anything? Yeah, so we on? we got the we got the versatile mixtape coming out. Okay, and that's going to be in summer still. Okay, I don't want to jump ahead, but are you going to be putting a beat on there of your own? You can making your own beat. That's like that's a you know that's a very good idea. That's a very good idea. Yeah, Thank you it, for that. I'll take that. Is it going to happen? It could. It can happen. It no, It could happen. Uh, yeah. Anything could happen. Anything can happen. But is that gonna happen? I don't know. I want to see how how confident you are in your own beats. Are you putting it on your project? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not confident like that. Yeah. I'm not confident like that. But anything can happen, like cool. you said. All right. So let's talk, so before we go into this project here, because I know I've just jumped um, years ahead. Sure. Um, what's your progression been like? Like, what have you been doing? What's the road been like to today? Um, what I've realized with with uh, my music is whatever I've put in, that's what I've kind of got out. Okay. So when I was kind of being lazy and just mm-hmm. not doing much, putting out songs here and there, I was just getting the general feedback. Feedback was has always been good, which is, uh, which I give thanks for. But you know, it just wasn't as mm-hmm. f- rapid and fast. But now yeah. I'm kind of pressing gas. Mm-hmm. I see everything kind of moving how I want it to move. What are the obstacles that you've had to overcome? Um, I think one of the biggest obstacles is. Get, keeping people engaged. Okay. Yeah, so... And creating a following. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and then from just being creative point of view, um, I would say sometimes collaborating with artists can be difficult. Why is that? Because it's stush. Yeah. That that <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, yeah, that can be a bit give of a, a challenge. Give me a story. Give me a story. Don't give me a name, but give me a story of, that of you trying to collaborate with an artist and them acting up. Mm, it wasn't, so uh, your face, your face no, 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 no. I'll tell you, I'll tell okay, you. Cool, so, right, boom. So, I went to a show. Yeah. And then there what was this. Was what was the show called, bro? You know, I'm all trying to bait you um, up. Oh, I can't remember, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep that quiet. I went to the show, basically. Um, 
there was some discrepancy about who was going on where. So this particular artist yeah. wanted to go on second, second after. to last. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah before yeah. everybody started yeah, to yeah, leave, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. but because I'd done a rehearsal before, yeah. the one of the dons that was running a show said, "No, nah, you're going on this slot." Right. So he liked what he heard. Cool. So he put me in that slot. Yeah. I've performed, shelled it down, mm. and then this artist kind of performed last mm. still done their thing mm -hmm. you know i rated them respected mm -hmm. them they had a little backing from another artist that was slightly popping as well mm -hmm. so i thought all right cool then me i'm not i'm not a people people i'm a people person if mm. i know you mm. but i'm not a go out there and mm. you know what yeah, i'm saying so yeah. anyway i just thought you know it's music yeah let's try and progress so yeah. i approached the got the number whatever mm. but just acting funny and then i thought you know what let me hit them up mm. so i said yo my producer's got a dope beat mm. that he's cooked up. Let's mm. work. Mm. Fam, up to now, I'm still waiting for a response. Mm. Just two ticks and air, so. So here's the thing. Big up yourself. This is, the, this is the purpose of like a platform like this. You can reach out to people all the time. So I think now's the time that you just say, Mr. or Miss such and such. <laughs> yeah? Like, holla, I Bro, mean it. Bro, it's all jiggy. We're going <laughs> <we're gonna> to meet again. <laughs> I just, you know what? I like naming and shaming. We're That's gonna, what I like to we're do. We're going to meet again. It's all good. What what do you find is do you like performing like live? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Some people hate it. Some people like live it. band. Like, that's that's what I realized. I yeah? like a lot. Yeah, live okay. band. What is it about a live band that you like? Because live band. So, with the way that I sing, yeah, I sing I sing in a black keys a lot. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's not, that's not that's not for a singer. That's not normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, in terms of adjusting myself, what is that? Because you're. you're what is it? Just your tone? Yeah, just my tone, yeah. Okay, okay. So when it comes to adjusting to music, yeah. it's so much easier for me yeah. when I have a live band. Okay. Because they can play to me. Yeah, yeah. Rather yeah, than me adjusting yeah. myself to the song. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's one of the main reasons. And just the vibe as well of a live band. Yeah. You can't beat that. You cannot beat it. You ever been down to Troy Bar? I haven't. I've heard a lot of good things about Troy Bar. Go Troy Bar. The band's amazing. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've heard um, a lot, lot of good things. The host is amazing as well. Big shout out to um, Hannah. Is it Hannah? Shame. I don't even remember. I can't remember her name. Is it Hannah? <laughs> Hannah, yeah. Hannah. And um, if she's not there, Shazar as well. Both brilliant hosts. Okay. Um, yeah, so go down there. You're the plug, man. Hook me up. Go down there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's every Tuesday. Let's go. Every Tuesday. Let's do it. <laughs> um, okay, right. Talking about live performances, we're going to get a performance out of you in a minute, but let's talk about where you are now. In terms of your career like what's happening for cool. you cool so yeah at the moment um i entered a competition uh what got, competition it was a mobiles uh, unsung competition mm -hmm. so that basically was like loads of people in the country and right, down at somerset square or whatever did you go down there somerset square i don't think it was somerset square okay, i went to right. no because there's a few of them so all right okay yeah um but yeah they whittled it down mm -hmm. and then i got down to uh they call it the class of unsung 2018 right yeah, yeah so yeah. i'm part of that kind of group and mm. what sort of what sort of um company are you in like do you remember some of the other artists that are part mm, of that? not particularly no, i'm okay. not gonna lie to you i don't remember all right artists i was kind of trying to focus on me but <laughs> <laughs> no no i'm just trying to get, get an, an idea no like, no i hear you like the competition so yeah so i mean in terms of I could, what i can tell you is yeah. there was like me there were singers yeah i don't know if there was a lot of male singers i didn't see any male singers right um but there was a few groups, mm -hmm. some rappers, mm -hmm. some female singers, mm -hmm. um, a couple Afrobeats artists and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a nice little selection of, of artists that kind of made the cut. Yeah. Okay. So what it was, so you went down there and sung and then they called you up and said, listen, we want you to come back. Yeah. So it was, it was basically like an audition. Yeah. So you submit your music. Yeah. If they like it, they, yeah. they say, oh, you're shortlisted. Okay. You oh, go okay, to okay. the audition. Right. Yeah. Audition. And then after that, they tell you whether you made it to the, mm -hmm. the final class of whatever it is. Okay. So Yeah. And obviously. what is the final class? So the final class is um, a, obviously the, a collection of artists that they thought was made the cut. Mm -hmm. And then from that, you go to seminars, mm -hmm. um, you do performances. And yes, yeah, it's, it's more networking. They kind of plug you with yep. uh, more people in, it, in, in the interest, industry. Okay. Do you get to go to the MOBOs? I don't know about that. I don't think so, you know, bro. No? I'll be real with you. They don't even give you a ticket to the, the not even the pre-MOBOs. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, they're flopping. Not even the pre mobile. You know what? Can we send an email? No, no. Sorry. You're not on that? I'm not involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my name blacklisted. Like. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to get a live performance out of you. Cool. What are you going to be performing for us? You know what? I don't really want to say. Okay. It's just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, 
We're just gonna we're just gonna ride. Uh Check. Uh We're gonna try something a little bit different, you get me? Uh Check. Hey. I know you guys at home know this one. For Jaheem Ting. 90s. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh, uh. Check. Look. There's something about that melanin. It's heaven sent. In talking for the hell of it. I love your eloquence. Shoot it down to ride. She part of my regiment. Saucy with the drip, but got hella elegance. She don't stress about no woman, cause them gal are relevant. Focus on her bag and her own development. Damn, see, you were made for a reason. Trust me, you ain't no experiment. And when it comes to the coochie, you're bougie. Don't fling it where so easy, you're kinda choosy. I'll be acting greasy and talking loosely. I'm kinda burst off the magnum and grey goosey. They don't know me, they lay a finger on you, then a body man. Screaming, if I can't have you, nobody can. Bare face so they all know who I am. I'm 28, don't have no ops or a gang. I just finesse, yalla impress. Wicked and bad, that's why them stress. Thanks to my maker, pray I stay blessed. I'm just doing me, brother, why are you pressed? And as for my best feature, life couldn't be sweeter. Cause failure's my best teacher. Anxiety could have had my soul weaker. But pain made me understand myself deeper. Like just in case. I don't make it home tonight We can make this moment like the last time, baby We can trade each moment like the last Cause baby, all that I have So just in case Yeah, yeah, yeah Jules of J, baby Jules of J in the building This is On Top FM, I'm looking online Big shout out to George DJ for joining me here in the studio today. Um, been great having you. What's so? What's happening? So you did say there's a project in in the making. Yeah. So we got we got a versatile project. Okay. Um, why, why is it the versatile project? What's that mean? Because I'm very versatile. Okay. If you listen to the songs that I've kind of put out or that I have, mm-hmm. um, you'll see that they all have different flavors. They all come from a different direction. Some are soul. Some are up tempo. Some are trappy. Some of the ones that we couldn't play, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, we just we just got different vibes. So I thought it was only right to call it versatile. Cool. Okay. And we're going to play one more track from you before we end the show. So big shout out to everyone who's been locked in listening to On Top today. Thank you very much for your ears. Uh, we're going to play the brand new single, which was released. So yeah, yeah this was released on the 21st of January. Yesterday. We went live. Um, that's on all digital platforms right now. Mm-hmm. If you want to find out where it is or you want a quick way of getting there, you can just follow me on Instagram. That's at George underscore the underscore J. So once again, that's J-O-R-D-Z underscore the underscore J, J J-A-Y. Cool. And any performances? Can we catch you anywhere in the coming weeks, months that you you know off the top of your head? Yeah. So, yeah. So we've got West Bank Gallery coming up. I think that's on the 8th. I've got another performance on the 10th, but if you go onto my Spotify, all my shows are basically there. Wicked. Cool. Okay. George DJ, thank you very much for joining us. No um, problem, and my one brother. more question. Why? So obviously the track is called... Get A Romance. And why have you decided to sample this track? Bro, do you know what? This tune is just a banger, fam, man. Every time I hear it, like the original, I feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. So I thought, I was listening to the, the, the rhythm... And I was like, yo, I need to just merge something dope with this. So I thought, let me just tweak the words a little bit, use the ghetto romance chorus, and yeah, just put my own flavor on it. One more time, thank you very much for your time. George the J in the building. Jeez, bless. <laughs> 